Those ones are cool. Those are quarters. One dime. How much is a dime? Okay, that one's five cents. Uh, you know what's nice? It looks and feels in my hand like I have a lot of money, but these are like all one dollar notes. <laughs> what is even the point of a one dollar note? Good morning! Day two, New York, turning off the television. It's sunny today. Ah! Oh wow, oh, the clouds are like really high. So this evening I'm going to go doing some filming with Voltaire for his Got the Comb Making web series. Maybe that could be fun. That's not until the evening. I don't know what time it is now. Kind of like nearly midday, I suppose. So I'm going to go do a bit of sightseeing. Don't judge me. Yesterday I went to Forever 21 because I know that they sometimes have some like cute black velvet things. But I found this fluffy black ball which is actually also a power bank how useful see it's cute and also practical i'm gonna try my very very best not to get like too excited by all the shops or just spend all my money on garbage food and candy first like i, sh I suppose i should probably eat something healthy i feel like everywhere i look there's there's pizza and fried things i you know or, or if you want something a bit healthier it's monstrously expensive i didn't do much filming yesterday it was just because it was raining so much i you know i can't take my camera out in the rain it'll get ruined oh don't be windy no, that's dumb. Don't be windy. No. At least it's not raining. At least it's sunny. Let's go explore New York City. Hi, where am I? Where am I going? I was just asked if, for like, you know, information if there was like a nicer way to go direction I'm like, I don't know I'm just a tourist she ended up talking to this Egyptian lady with like this beautiful jewelry and beautiful hair she said she's like a Middle Eastern dancer and she's been to New Zealand could you meet some interesting people when you're out and about traveling I think that nobody is really boring I think anybody you talk to has oh, hi, Robbie. <laughs> That's a compliment. I think that everybody has a story. Well, they do. Like, no matter who you talk to, I think there's something interesting to be gained from, from every person you speak to. All right, maybe maybe the comments weren't coming yesterday because it was raining and no one was, everyone was sort of hidden under an umbrella. Someone just shouted to me, it ain't Halloween yet. I'm like, I know. You think I don't know when Halloween is? Come on. What a beautiful day. I think I'm allergic to the air. Ugh. I'm getting hay fever. Hurrah. Hello. Hi. Hi. I had to get another of my dearly beloved Kat Von D Whiteout Concealer doodads and I also got a Kat Von D uh, foundation because I've never tried it before. I thought the colour looked really quite good and the formula felt really smooth so I'm like I'm gonna try it. As much as I like to wear like white white foundation, uh, sometimes I think it looks good to mix that with something a bit more natural. I've just been to Whole Foods and I just bought them like the healthiest salad in the entire universe so that should hopefully make up for the garbage I'm inevitably going to eat while here. I can also use it to justify the fact that the next place I'm going is an ice cream shop. But I have to go to this place that started the black ice cream thing and it's not far from here. Oh my god, I got it. I got the famous black ice cream from the famous black ice cream shop. The original. Yeah. <laughs> Coconut flavor. The other flavor I got is salted chocolate. It's so good. I'm so glad I came here. It's so nice. It is infinitely better than the one I made. Cheers. Bye bye. Ooh, it's hot. <laughs> bye. Hell. I am gonna sit down and eat my salad. It's kind of far away, but you know what that is? That is the Statue of Liberty. The world's most impressive lighthouse. And for many people, the first glimpse of a new life and a new opportunity.
Can yeah. I take a picture with you? Yeah, sure. Oh, okay. Yeah, sure. Obviously, I'm at the World Trade Center Memorial. I mean, I watched the terrible thing that happened here on, on television dozens and dozens and dozens of times. I don't think I've ever actually really felt so poignant about it as I do right now. Like actually coming to the place and to, I think being able to imagine, or just being able to imagine the absolute horror. But I think this is a really nice memorial. You know where I was at the time the whole thing happened at World Trade Center? I was in the hospital watching a baby being born. That baby is 16 years old now. <laughs> Many hours later. It's, it's impressive. Cheers. Cheers. Well, we are here at the official Gothic homemaking rap party. Um, <laughs> that's, that's Tuesday, our cameraman over there. Uh, and uh, we celebrate tonight with Pina Colada. Like all smart goths do. We shot an amazing, amazing segment for Gothic homemaking. I think it was hilarious. Yeah, I, I, the, the champagne really went to my head, but I, I think it was, it was A lot of champagne was imbibed. And then I also shot an interview with the lovely Black Friday. I, I was just excited to see your apartment in real life. It's so pretty. So tiny. <laughs> but it's, it's so beautiful. Like, there's so much to look at. It looks amazing. And I, I hope that my apartment can look after this. Well, if you ever need a little gothic homemaking uh, help, you know where to go. It's so cute and tropical. The darkness and despair that is gone. LA also busy. LA? Yeah. I mean, I've only I've, I've been to LA once before. Just getting to the airport. Oh, I'm sad to leave. Yeah. Is this yeah. Uh -huh. I'm at the airport. I'm at the LaGuardia airport. I know I don't look very good, but I don't really care. I don't feel very good either. <laughs> this is the friendliest taxi driver ever, which is good because uh, they told me that the, the, the taxi would be like $25, but it was $45. I spent so much last night drinking sugary cocktails and drinks. And <laughs> but it was an enjoyable night. I think I was awake for like 20 hours. I didn't really film much uh, because what you're, well, you're going to see what we filmed. <laughs> you know, I've already talked about Voltaire's Got the Comb Making series, which I think is wonderful. Well, I'm so honored that I'm going to be in one of the episodes, so I can't wait until that comes out. It's like this is going to be an extra episode. There was going to be only 10 episodes, but now it's going to be 11. Yeah, now I'm about to fly for like eight hours or so fucking long it is to LA. I don't get there until the evening and there'll be like hardly any time to actually do anything except the premiere while I'm in LA. But I'm going to go and stay with some of my favorite people while I'm there, so I'm, I'm so happy about that. I'm so happy I get to see them again. And now we see the sun upon the old sun. They are the shape 